Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. I've been experimenting with portable solar solutions, portable solar panels from the smallest of scales, trying out these inexpensive window mounted solar panels. I got those for like $20 each. Working with some more elaborate ones and realizing that they have problems with uh, extreme temperatures, succeeding, able to charge my power bank with these two different varieties of solar panels. But I was never able to get these inexpensive window mounted solar panels to charge my power bank. That is, until now. You see, it's September, the sun's moving now to the south, so the sun's actually coming more directly into this window here. And you can see on my monitor on the Cubitro portal, I'm collecting the voltage readout for that solar panel, and we're like hitting high 18s, and even into the 19s now. And we haven't seen this kind of level thus far. During the summer, the sun was more further north, so not coming directly in this back window. Here I've charged up my Samsung Galaxy at 100%, and it's about yeah, 9.37 in the morning there. We're not worried about the temperature because these panels are indoors. Yeah, here's my Moto E. It's also charged up to 100%. I charge both of these at the same time. And you can see I've knocked off about 4% off the Marlboro Power Station. These guys are kicking in now, we can tell. Here you can see our probe is measuring that voltage output on the TTGO T display 18 volts this console here on the solar charge controller says 19.1 now I'm going to go ahead and plug those solar panels directly into my Marlboro power station you need that adapter because the Marlboro power station uses a 6.5 by 3 plug versus a 5 by 2 plug you can see at first the Marlboro Power Station thinks it's at 100%. So I'm going to play with that. I'll switch it off. Okay. No, it's still stuck on 100%. Yeah, it's knocked the input voltage down, so it looks like it's charging. But I want to see the Marlboro Power Station recognize that it needs to be charged here. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and pull that power plug out again. Toggle the power on the Marlboro Power Station. There we go, 98, 97. So we had it down to 96, now it thinks it's 97. We plug it in. We see we've got 14 volts and it's charging starting at 97% capacity on that Marlboro power station. And these solar panels are kicking in, delivering 14 volts. You need a minimum of 13 volts on the Marlboro power station to get it to charge. And like I said, this is about, about 9.30 in the morning there. We're going to run some errands and do some shopping. And we come back and by the time I get the groceries put up it's 2.20 in the afternoon. And we can see our Marlboro power station is at 100% and that input voltage is back up to the 19 volts because there's no draw on the solar panels. The Marlboro power station is 100% charged. I'm feeling pretty good about that. These guys are going to come in handy during the winter time, providing additional charging capacity for my portable power banks. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like down below. If you've had successful experimentation with these portable solar solutions, I'd love to get a comment from you. And before you go watch more of my portable solar solution videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.